Good morning, Longhorns, and welcome to RBV TV. I'm Eva. And I'm David. Valentine's Day is a little more than a week away, so go take your loved ones out and spend some quality time with them. Or spend it with your dog. Who cares? Well, anyways, Longhorns, here at RBV TV, we don't break the news. We put it together. Saturday School this Saturday, February 10th. It begins at 8 a.m. sharp and runs till 12 noon. Please bring your laptop and school supplies needed to complete your homework and missing assignments. It is a good time to work on E2020 if you have an account. There will be a PE makeup opportunity. If you would like to participate in that, wear clothes, toed shoes, and workout gear. If you choose to participate in PE activities, you will receive full credit for Saturday School. Juniors and seniors, the fall off-campus passes are no longer valid. You will need a pink spring off-campus sticker to get off-campus. Please complete your online application and return your permission slip to the front desk. Applications are still being accepted. Reminder, food deliveries such as DoorDash and Uber Eats are not allowed. The deliveries will be turned away. Anyways, let's toss it over to Isaiah now for a sports segment. How are you doing, Isaiah? Uh, I'm doing fine, guys. All oh, spring athletes, make sure that you've turned in all of your athletic clearance forms to home campus. You cannot try out until you're completely cleared. We got a couple league champions today. Congratulations to RBV girls basketball, girls soccer, and boys wrestling for winning all of their league titles. Boys basketball has clinched a share of the league title and is going for an outright championship against Vista on Friday. Congratulations to Girls Water Polo for earning the 11th seed in the D3 playoffs. Good luck today against Scripps Ranch. Congratulations to our very own Kayla Edwards. She qualified for Masters this year at the D1 level and is wrestling at the 135 weight class. We wish you luck, Kayla. Shout out to our freshman wrestlers who took fifth out of 32 schools at Freshman County. Rami Farias plays first at 120 pounds. Waylon Zvarius plays second at 138, with Brandon Bernard at fifth. Jonas Abrams plays third at 144 pounds, and Jacob Weston placed second at heavyweight. Congratulations, boys. Boys Golf. Are you interested in trying out for golf? We'll come down to the Goat Hill Golf Course on Monday, February 12th for tryouts. Tryouts are from 4 to 5 p.m. If you have any more questions, please contact Coach Weary in room 235 for more information. Well, that's all the sports we got for today. But before we go, we got one more thing for you guys. Hi, I'm Kaylee and I'm here with... Mr. Cardenas. Mrs. Wellhammer. Mr. Panner. Mr. Sanchez. Ms. Candy in the front office. Mr. Cardenas, do you prefer a team to win? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see the 49ers win. Um, yeah. um, I'm rooting for the red team. Uh, which red team? <laughs> I don't really care this year. My beloved Rams aren't in, so I just want a good game. I have to prefer the 49ers. I grew up as a kid. I, I went to Super Bowl when they beat the Dolphins in 1985. Now, 40 years later, they'll do it again. We want the 49ers to win this year. All right. We've got family up north that was, they were all having major heart attacks last Sunday. So yeah, we want the 49ers to win. Are you a hardcore fan of either team or do you just prefer one? I'm a hardcore Dallas Cowboy fan, but in honor of my uncle who was a hardcore 49ers fan, that is who I'm gonna choose this year. I'm a pretty hardcore fan. I'm a Charger fan though, so I'm not really used to the playoffs or the Super Bowl. It's just kind of a foreign thing for Chargers fans, so, you know. What is your favorite Super Bowl like party food? This has got to be nachos. I'm pretty basic with that. You got to go with nachos. Do you have any Super Bowl traditions that you do? Yes, actually, we are um, football fans, and so we barbecue and make carne asada and just hang out and watch the game as a family. So I always go up to uh, my buddy Steve's place in uh, way up in the valley, LA Valley. He's got this big Hollywood party, and it's a lot of fun. The only tradition that my husband and I have is that you, we usually get so nervous about the game that we just watch the game by ourselves. And so we gather all this food and we just sit down in front of our TV by ourselves. Have you ever seen the 49ers or the Chiefs play? Yeah, I saw the Chiefs play on uh, Monday Night Football two years ago uh, at SoFi Stadium when Travis Kelsey caught a touchdown to win in overtime. And as usual, the Chargers lost. So that was, that was pretty great. Yeah, pretty great. All right, thank you so much. But what about you, Eva? Who do you think is going to win? I think that the Chiefs are going to come out on top. There you go. 
See, that's all we have for today's show. We'll see you Longhorns next time. Hook them. Shay Todd, senior, power forward, number 20. Uh, CJ Aldridge, number two, sophomore, uh, guard. Michael Boucher, number five, I'm a junior, and I play guard. Isaiah Justice, junior, number four, and I'm a guard. Rafael Santi, uh, 10, sophomore, uh, uh, forward. Aiden Horn, number 23, I'm a junior, and I play forward and uh, wing. So glad to be doing this interview with my nephew here. <laughs> uh, Kane Keys, number 33, junior, uh, guard forward. Trent Lotito, uh, 12, 3, guard. Uh, Andrew Cupin, number 13, I'm a senior, power forward and center. First and last name, number, year, position. Wait, where do I look? Oh, uh, what, what do I say? Ryder Newton, number 12, junior, guard. Justin Richardson, number 11, uh, sophomore and uh, guard. Matthew Horn, number 24, junior, center, power forward. My favorite athlete is Devin Booker. I'll go Stephen Curry. My favorite athlete is probably Kawhi Leonard. Uh, Paul George. Uh, Tony Gwynn. Uh, Daniel Gallinari. Uh, Kobe Bryant because of his dedication to the game. Uh, Michael Jordan. Uh, LeBron James, very inspirational. LeBron James. <laughs> Legoat, LeBron James. Uh, I, I love my team, you know, love playing for my boys. It's fun. Uh, I play to make people proud, and it's just something I love to do. Uh, I've always loved the sport and for my family. Uh, I play for my family and my friends, and I really just love the game. Uh, I play because all my friends are on the team, and it's fun. Because it's, uh, it's, it's a fun sport. Uh, I just love playing the game. Uh, I love playing basketball, and I love, like, just bonding with my teammates. Because I love the sport. Uh, just the love of the sport, you know. Also play for my friends and family. Just something I've been doing since I was little. I love to play the game. Uh, I've loved the game since I was a little kid, and, yeah. What is your hype song? Uh, never Broke Again. <laughs> uh, Don't Like by Chief Keith. My hype song is Superpowers by Daniel Caesar. I don't got one. Pardon the USA, Miley Cyrus. Uh, what to do by the Jack Boys. I don't got one. Uh, had enough, EBK Jabo. Three Headed Go by Lil Durk. Uh, my go-to hype song is Lay Low by Jado. Flex Up by Lil Yachty. Senseless by Kodak. Or post -meal or post -game. Usually pasta the night before. Ooh. Islands. That's islands. Probably like Jersey Mike's or In-N-Out. Some chicken, bro. So I'd probably like some canes or some Chick-fil-A. Uh, just whatever my mom makes before game. Uh, probably pre is like a bowl of fruit or something like that. Probably like, probably like some chicken. I don't know. Uh, I don't really have a pre-game meal. My post-game is Chick-fil-A though, always. Or canes. Any food that's in the house. Um, pre-game, probably some pasta. Probably <clears throat> scrambled eggs. PB and J are just like whatever my mom makes. Funniest player? Either Matthew Horn or Ryder Newson or Micah Boucher. Uh, probably Micah or Ryder, always making me laugh. Ryder or Micah. I go Ryder Newson. Matthew Randy Horn. Uh, probably Matthew. I'll give it to Trent. Uh, the funniest player on the team is probably Matthew Horn. It's because he's always doing some dumb stuff, so it's funny. Uh, probably Ryder Newson. Matthew Horn. I'll go Matthew Horn. Probably Ryder or Micah. Slides, bro. Come on. Oh, um, probably Crocs. I'll say slides. 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 Easy slides, always. Slides. <laughs> no, no, you just say slides. Easy slides. Crocs for sure. Crocs. Crocs. Slides for sure. Uh, Crocs. Uh, slides. Crocs is not the move. Crocs. Um, my favorite holiday is Christmas because I get presents. Holiday? Christmas? Get to spend it with my fans. Christmas. Uh. Christmas. 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 Christmas, because of all the presents. Definitely Christmas presents. Christmas for sure. Christmas. Uh, I gotta say Christmas. Shout out to a teacher. I'd say Tompkins, but nah, because he gave me a B, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, a shout out to a teacher would be Mr. Cardenas, because he's always making me laugh and he makes class fun. Mr. Stucky, because he's funny and awesome. Stucky and Stover. 
because I like him. Uh, Miss Glennon, because she's cool. I shout out Mr. Stuckey. He's the GOAT. Miss Glennon, because she's funny and she makes me laugh. Mr. Stuckey, because he's the GOAT. Miss Frank, she's just cool and she makes the class interesting. Uh, shout out Mr. Stuckey, because he's cool, always making us laugh in class. Shout out Mr. Painter, always making graphic design fun. Probably Mr. Stuckey. Shout out my mom, uh, that's family, and also shout out Miss Glennon, love her, but yeah. Yes.